Hey everyone, in this FIFA 23 how to play a manager career video, that's exactly what we're going to look at. I'm going to teach you the basics of manager career and why you should look at it. It's a really fun mode, pretty easy to get to grips with initially, but there's a lot of depth to there, so you can quickly get confused and absorbed in this exciting mode. So where do we find it? It's under play mode, so on the root menu pick play modes. Uh, and then you want to go over to career. Now it may say continue career if, if you've already done a player career. Um, if it does move up to a new career, it might just say new career. So pick whatever one makes sense. So I'll do a new career here. And uh, you can use the latest squads, you can use current squads or initial squads. So download the latest would update all the teams to whatever the latest uh, team sheets are out there. Um, current squads would be without updating anything just as it is in your game at the minute or your initial squads was when the game first started. So you can pick whatever one. So I'm going to download the latest squads for this example here. So you can see that'll take a slight moment, but that means all the teams should be up to date with the current standings. So if we're going to play manager career, we're going to stick on the left hand side. The right hand side is where you can play player career. Difference between them is player career, you're focusing on and playing as a single player um, and developing their career, whereas a manager you are focusing on being the manager so you've got two options with manager career you can play as a real manager which is pretty cool you could take you know a real life manager and you know continue their career or move them somewhere else in the world uh, but I think what is pretty cool is being able to create a new manager where you can set yourself up as a manager and um, you know develop yourself as a manager and I think that's a lot of fun so that's what we're going to look at here but choice is yours so create a new manager so you have all of these little avatars here to give a rough idea of what your player uh, or sorry what your manager uh, should look like so I'll pick one like this chap here um, and then we can customize it in more detail later so a couple of important things here is if you want to set your first name and last name you can do that here or you can just leave it as AA manager if you want country or region where you're from um, so you can pick all of that uh, and then we've got the option to advance or we can right button over and start drilling into adjusting the head of the manager. Um, so you've got options for tone and complexion, eyes, face, of course, brows, nose, you know, go all through here. And if you use the right stick, you can see how this is all adjusted. So if we go, for example, for the nose and I'll just move down here to have a little look at different facial features for this guy. So we'll go with that. And then I'll move the left stick back up. So we're back on nose here. We can have a little look at the mouth. I've not got a beard, so let's get rid of the beard. So that's over on facial hair. Um, so we could give him a little mustachio or just pick something a little less hairy like that. It's not quite the same as me, but we're getting somewhere. Um, and then we could go through all the other things. I'm not going to bore you too much with that. The outfit, if you don't like that dodgy sweater look, you can do all sorts of stuff here. You can change the inner top, the outer top. So for example, we could go with a nice shirt. So we could go buttoned white shirt. Let's be all smart and then go uh, to, whoops, this area here, outer top, whether we want a sweater or whether we want to go with a suit, uh, it's entirely up to you. Uh, I'm not sure whether I like any of these. Let's move over. I'd like a blue suit jacket, please. There we go. Um, and that that's not looking good, is it, with jeans on the bottom? So we need some blue suit pants. And it's definitely not good with boat shoes, a suit like this. I'm going to have a red tie, like so. I would like some socks, but not some white ones. That would be dodge. Uh, we'll do that. And then I'm moving over to here. And then I can pick what sort of shoes I want. I'm just going to go with black boots. You get the idea. So when you're happy with all that, down the bottom, it says advance. So for me, that's the menu button on the Xbox. Hit that, uh, and then you will come to this area. Now you can choose to work with an authentic club, so a club that already exists, but I think particularly cool is create your club. So this is where you can create your club from scratch. We're gonna go through this, because this is pretty cool. So um, the idea with this is you can give the team a name. Um, so if you want to do this, you just select, select it here. And what I'm going to do is I'll just use my channel name. So we'll go with Grub Magnet. Oh, if only I could type fast. If I was on the PC, this would be much quicker, but I'm on the Xbox. And then if you want to hold down Shift, you can get capitals. So for me, that's left trigger. Whoops, I've done that wrong. Uh, like that and then when you're happy you hit the menu button for done or done down here so that's all done you can change your nickname you can have a short nickname if you want um so a short name used to identify your club in places with limited text space so we should probably do that one as well so i'll do g m space 
uh, FC. Whoops. Me and that um, capital option. There we go. An abbreviation that's also needs to be done. So we'll do G F C. Done. Okay, so we've done all of that. You can have a nickname as well if you want. So the nickname is what the um, commentators will use to refer to your team while you're playing. So you can pick any of these. This shows you all of the different nicknames that can be used in things like Ultimate Team as well. Um, but you can give them a nickname as well. Um, so you can see all these. I'm gonna use the Mad Lads. So that's what will be said in commentary. So when we advance, because we've created a team, we then have the option to replace a team. So what I'm gonna do, I think it's quite fun to start in a lower league. So I'm gonna start in League Two. So I've just moved up here. You can change country here, league here. Um, so I'm just using the left stick to go down. We advance um, and it says, what team do I want to replace? So pick a team that you wanna kick out. Poor old Barrow, Barrow are gonna get done. So we'll do that. And then it says, what rival do you want? You can pick whatever your key rival is, so I don't know, Don Custer, that'll do. And pretty cool is you can customize the kit, the crest and the stadium for your team. So if we have a little look at the kit, that is a disgusting looking kit, so I'm gonna change that. So we'll go primary color and I want a nice red kit. So I've picked red there, secondary color, I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for a white uh, like that and a tertiary color, I will go with a gray. Um, name and number, if we uh, we could change the color of that as well, but we've also got this thing here. Well, I'll do it, just hide my camera just a second while we look at this. So these are all the designs. There's a couple of brands that you can use. You've got Adidas, uh, which do some pretty cool kits as we can see here as we go through, um, and loads of different designs that you can pick, and it's using those core cool colors that we're seeing. Um, so we'll go through and just, and then you've also got Nike as well, or Nike, um, however you pronounce it. Uh, let's see, I thought there was one, I'm trying to look at the one that I used, another one that I thought was pretty cool, so it's law is I won't be able to find it now. Um, where is it? There it is, I, I like that kit. I think that's pretty cool, so I will select that. Uh, if you want to rotate and have a little look around, that's LB and RB, so you can see quite cool what we've got there. So that's my home kit there, pretty nice. And if you then want to polish this a bit more, you could go to, for example, the tertiary color, and see how that looks. So maybe we want a black rather than a gray or a dark gray. I think that dark gray is quite nice. So I'm gonna go with that. So I'm happy with that. So I hit B to go back. Uh, so that's my home kit done, my away kit. So again, we can do the same sort of thing. So you wanna think about what you know colors you want on your away kit. So I'm sort of gonna reverse things slightly. I'm gonna add in a yellow and I have a red and I'm gonna keep that dark gray as my tertiary color. Uh, if we were RB around, we can see how that's looking on the back. That kit looks pretty nice already, I think, but we could go with a different look here if we wanted. Um, again, same sort of principle. Bizarre is you can change brands of the, the two individual kits if you want, um, but you know we can have a little look all through these designs and see whatever one we look like. Um, but I actually quite like the look of that one that we've got there already. Um, or maybe, maybe that one, I don't know. There's just so many, so many kits that you can pick. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. So we'll go back out. So when you're happy with that, you've then got your third kit, which would rarely be used, but we'll just go with a, a white kit in this case, like so. Um, that's a disgusting look. Let's go with a secondary color of the red. Uh, and then the tertiary color, let's go with a black. So like so, uh, name and number. Now this is where you wanna be paying attention because that white's not gonna work. So black on there, and then just pick whatever kit you like. I quite like that one, that'll do. Um, so we're back out there. So you can see we've designed home away third kit. Uh, the goalkeeper kit, you've got not got as much control over. You've got basically just these basic colors. Um, so you just pick whatever one you think is gonna work with your team. I'm gonna go with that green. Come back out, and they are now my team kits. So pretty cool there. So when we're happy with that, we hit B to go back. So we've done that. Now we customize the crest. And the crest shape, you've got all these options here. So you've not got loads of options for your crest, you've just got some options that you can pick here. So just pick whatever one you like the look of. Um, and of course, you know, it's, it's limited sort of designs that you've got. So you can pick the shape and you can also pick a color that you want to use on yours. But I'm just gonna go with that black, that's fine. And then lastly, you can pick a stadium. So you can go uh, home stadium here uh, and pick whatever stadium you like the look of. 
So because I'm in League 2, I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm going to use Town Park here. I could rename the stadium if I want by hitting X, but I'll just keep it as Town Park. That's fine. Um, and come back out here once I've selected that. We can go to the stands. We can customize the stand color, uh, which is quite nice. So we could have, I don't know, let's go with a red there. Uh, and we'll go with the seat colors of white. Happy, happy. Uh, back is B. The pitch itself, you've got options for the grass. Uh, you can change whether you want, you know, checkered or, you know, any of these other ones here. I quite like the standard, so I'm going to stick with that. Net colors, you could stick with the default white or go to black or whatever you like. I'm going to change them to black. Come back out here. Uh, and atmosphere, you get to pick uh, a goal sound, which these are all locked off for me at the minute. Um, but you can pick a song to play as you play. You can go through all of these. There's 124 that you can pick between it so you can see all of those there um i don't know if that'll yeah i don't think the preview works for me so we'll just skip that one crowd chants there are all um famous crowd chants here i'm going to change to liverpool's because i'm a liverpool supporter um you should be able to hear the preview of that there you go yeah so we'll pick that whatever one you want you've also got an anthem you can walk out to um so again for me uh liverpool uh, i'll have that one uh but whatever ones you want hit back and then hit back again. Um, so that's all good. So I've done all of those. And then to advance to the next one, I hit the menu button or whatever button it shows down the bottom. Uh, and now we are at the squad rating. So I can change my squad rating to improve it. Um, as I improve it, you can see the ratings of my players go up. Um, so it's up to you how, how you want to do this or how sort of, um, you know, how much of a challenge you want for the league. So if we go with, say, two stars there you can see my players are sort of 60 70 rated um, i can go with a very young age or young balanced whatever so i'm going to go with a balanced age um, transfer budget if you want to have a bit of fun you could up that budget i'm going to give myself 10 million funds um, and then you can see here board expectations football giant steady um, you can set it to custom and have a lot of control over this or you can just say look we're a small club or if you focus domestic focus heavy debt, whatever. So um, I'm gonna go with a small club to make things nice and easy for me. And then we'll advance to the next one. And this is my squad. So I can go in here, I can customize the fit, the boots. So for example, Jay Lucas here, if we go into here, I could change his name. I could give him a nickname, his kit number, uh, change his uh, birthday. Uh, and then I can right button over to athletic, change what height he is. I can change the kit, whether it's tucked in, tucked out or animations, all this sort of stuff, but I'm gonna back out of there. That's getting a bit bit too much for my liking, but you've got a lot of control over there. So there is an option there to put, you know, some of your own sort of influence into here, whether you want any of your friend's names on here or your name or whatever as a player as well, that's possible. So we'll click advance and we'll go on to career settings here. So here's how you set uh, the match difficulty, half length, etc. Now this is a very long game mode. So what I suggest you do is change the half length to three minutes um, because this makes games a lot quicker to play. Um, you can change your currency. I don't know why, but it defaults to dollars even though I'm playing the Premier League. So change that to sterling. Otherwise, that's going to be a bit confusing what you're doing. Uh, unless, of course, you're in Europe or America, then you know you want to pick your local currency. Do you want European competitions on? Yes or no. Transfer window on? Yes or no. Uh, you're going to want that on, I would think. Uh, and then you can improve things like ne negotiation strictness, um, you know, all these sort of things if you want to. But... Um, I'm going to go with that. Um, I suggest you go with semi-pro while you learn the ropes with this because that's fairly easy to use as long as you're a reasonable FIFA player. So put my camera back on while we're looking at this. Wow, this is a long process to set up. Huh? But of course, if you went with an existing club, that would be much faster. But I thought it'd be fun to see the existing one. Now, the thing you're going to need to do is use a career path here. So I've got a few save files. I'm just going to overwrite one of these. I'll overwrite this one and I'll just, um, you know, type a new thing here. So you want to type in a mode that makes sense to you. So I'll just go MGR, uh, what am I gonna go? Y test, very useful. Cause it's just for this video. Do want to overwrite, yep. I make so many safe things. So we get a little press conference to begin with. Um, you'll be able to skip this, but look, you see yourself moving and you're gonna be working for the club. Now, remember that um, sort of name that you put so i left my surname as manager um but if i didn't do that then um 
sorry, if I picked a different name, that one showed up on the shirt. Yeah, you do have the option for a tournament invite, but the difficulties here, because I'm a League Two club, I'm going to get my butt kicked. So I'm not going to bother with these. Now, the downside of doing that means you've got a lot of downtime without any games going. Um, but you do, on the upside, have a lot of training time. So I'm going to skip that. But if you were playing a you know better, a higher rated team that was three and a half or four stars, then this would be more fun. But I'm going to skip that by hitting B because um, I will get my butt kicked in there. So we're now into the main area of manager career. So we've got central, squad, transfers, office, and customize. So all these different settings. I'm going to give you a quick overview of each thing um, so you understand what's going on, okay? So central is where you progress the game. So it's saying next we're gonna have a training day. I can see the league standing. So of course we set up for league two in the English Football League. So that's what we're looking at here. I can see the weekly schedule to see what's coming up and I can adjust that if I want. Uh, I can see what objectives I've got. So you can see it says sign four players in your youth academy assigned to each of the following positions. Goalkeeper, defender, midfielder, forwarder. Forwarder? Forward. Uh, reduce player wages by 13,000 a week. Get a streak of 10 games with at least one goal scored this season. So they're the objectives that I've got to try and hit. Um, so that gives me that. I can see a bit of news, what's going on. Um, but basically to progress to the next thing, I would be going here to do that. But I'm not going to do that quite yet. I'm going to finish off with that. So if we right button or whatever button it shows on the top bar, uh, for me that's right button and PlayStation be R1 or I'll show some different ones to the right and left of the top bar, you'll flick over to squad. So here's where you can manage your team, your team sheets, your squad hub and your youth academy. Now I'm going to do some more videos on these. So I'm only going to give you a very fast overview here. But team management is where you can have a little look at your team. So we're seeing the rating of each player here. Uh, we can see our substitutes here. Uh, and we can move these around. So if I've got um, somebody that I want to put in the team rather than any of these, I could swap them around. So, but it looks like it's picked the strongest team already. There's nothing too exciting there. So I'm going to leave that well alone. Um, I can flick over to formations if I want. So that's RB or R1 on the PlayStation and I could pick a different formation here. Uh, you need to, of course, bear in mind on that squad page that you've got the right players for that formation. So of course, when the game starts, it's picked a formation that kind of suits the players that you've got. And as you hover over each player on the right hand side, just to the left of their picture, you'll see what position they are, they are at the moment. So formations we talked about, you can delve into tactics and see how this is going to work to begin with. It's set up fairly standard, um, but I could go into any of these and adjust these. Again, that's sort of beyond the, the scope of this video, but just showing that you can do that. You can set your roles here, your captains, your free kick takers, your penalties, etc. And when you're having a little look at these, if you select on any of them, it will show you the player's current standing for each of those things. And you could see whether you've got a better player by moving across. But generally, it will pick the best player for those things. Lastly, you've got instructions. If you want to get more in depth with what your players do, you can have a little look in here. So for example, if I select McKinney here, I can then have a little look on, you know, what sort of support runs should he do? Uh, should I leave it on default or do I want him to say central drift wide? If I back out of there, oops, sorry, hang on, let's go back. Um, on attacking runs, so I'm using the left stick to move across. I could say, for example, I want it to be a false nine, get in behind, mixed attack, whatever. Um, and defensive support here, using the right stick, I could say stay forwards or you know come backwards, you know, as standard. That's entirely up to you. So when I hit back to come out of here, uh, you can see it says uh, left trigger to edit game plans. So these are the different game plans that we've got here. And when I'm in here, I could have a little look at how these are set so I can flick between those during the game. So these have different um, settings and then you move between those using a left and right on the D-pad when you're in game. Anyway, so let's back out of there. I was just showing you that's, that's that area. Um, you've then got team sheets. So like it says, you can use multiple team sheets to bring in the best of your squad, switch between sheets to keep, keep things flexible. Um, so you could create a new team sheet here and then just you know have different roles of players. I'm not going to talk too much about this because this team is not very big you know I don't really need multiple team sheets but that's where that is so if you wanted to flick between different groups of players for example now the squad hub is quite an important area this is where you can see your entire squad you can see what role they are considered at the minute their overall rating what their morale is uh, what their form is which obviously we haven't played any games yet so we can't see any form we can see kit numbers positions all that sort of stuff and when you look at each of these if you then select a to show actions you can do things like development plans we can have a look at the team sheets the team management change the kit number which is something a lot of people want to do we can renegotiate their contracts delegate renewals release the player add them to the transfer list the loan list all this sort of stuff so that's all in there 
Um, the interesting thing here that I think is worth looking at is the development side, which we'll, we'll flick to that. So RB flicks you between the stats, the status and development. So to begin with, all players are set on a balanced development. Uh, but if you drill into any of these and say, show me the development plan, um, you can do basically delve into this and say how you want them to develop. Do you want them to be balanced? Do you want them to be a, a standard goalkeeper, a sweeper keeper? Um, so those sort of things there. Now, if we come back out and look at a on-field player like a uh, centre-back here, um, what I wanted to show you is it's also possible to retrain them in other positions as well. So um, just beneath his name and the plan balance, you see LTRT, that'll show L2RT on the PlayStation. We could flick to position and change him to a different position. Now, depending on how close it is or how versatile he is at retraining, it may be a quick change or not. So you can see for him, it's a whopping 225 weeks to change him to a different position. So let's have a little look at somebody else and see whether anyone is a little more versatile. So we'll have a look, little look at Jay Drake. Uh, you can see to change him to a different position, two weeks to change him from a left wing back to a right back. So, you know, if a player doesn't suit a position that you've got, or you're weak in a certain area, this is quite cool. Um, so that's how that works. So that's the development. You can also see financial, so I've hit RB to go to that, R1 on the PlayStation, and I can see things like the wage, the contract remaining, the market value, all of this sort of stuff. So this is all in here. And what you can also start thinking about here on this is whether you want to kick players out to loan to add them to the transfer list, uh, whether you don't want to have any offers whatsoever, all entirely up to you. So that's all in there as well. So that's the squad hub. Uh, the Youth Academy is quite an interesting area. This shows you your youth team at the minute and um, you could consider whether any of these are worth uh, sort of upgrading to the current squad. We've got a slightly uh, better player than the other ones here, Jay Jenkins, rated 66, potential to go up to 79 to 94, so lots of potential there. If we hit show actions, we could see his development plan here uh, and de debate how you know we want to pro progress this player, whether we want to adjust him to a separate position. So for example, if I'm going to keep with a formation where I'm going to have strikers rather than centre forwards, I might want to retrain him as a striker, which is going to take 23 weeks, but might be worth it if I think he's going to be worth progressing into the main squad and I'm only ever going to use strikers rather than centre forwards. So that's Youth Academy. Um, if we then on the top bar, RB flicks us over to transfers. Transfers is a bit of a weird area. Um, you've got the ability to search for players, but when you search for them, you can see very little information. So what you tend to work with more in um, manager career is your scouts. So if we look at scouts here, this shows me the scouts we currently have. Um, so whether they are scouting an area or not. So this guy is just starting to scout. If I hide my thing, he's scouting Ireland on the top right. You see that? Um, whereas Toby Gardner, here, Gardner uh, is scouting England and all three leagues. Uh, and this guy is available to scout. So if, if we wanted to assign him to somewhere, down the bottom left, A to send to country, or that would be X on the PlayStation. And here I could assign him to wherever uh, to scout. So I could send him off to Southern Europe and say, go and have a little look in Spain for me, see what you can find. And he will fly off there. Now, this guy must have just started scouting. He's not found anyone yet. This guy um, has found 15. So if we look at this scout report, you get a vague idea of the range of a player before he goes and scouts more in depth. So you can see the range is relatively big, but what we would be looking for here is, you know, basically green ratings are better. Um, so this striker, age 27, if we look at his shooting, 61 to 71, might be quite a good striker to get. And if we have a little look, we could see that's a particularly stronger looking player, but much older, so 32. So, he's, you know, these, these older players are, are more skilled, but in theory can't develop as well as a younger player that we could go with and sort of try and develop them more over time. Um, so he will also give you a basic rating. And if you want to scout him first, further and get more realistic details or, or, you know, further information like overall rating, value, wage, that sort of thing, you could say scout this guy a bit more so we'll say okay do that it's also worth looking at where they are at the minute so this guy's got his contract expiring in 12 months so we could say scout that one as well um, and then when a scout report comes back um, you will get a you know more detail on them uh, I'll do more on scouting in a separate video you can also hire more scouts sorry one other thing I want to cover in there right button over to instructions or R1 
and this is what we're currently looking for strikers any position um, strikers so there's a lot of influence here on strikers that are fast um, rather than anything else so if you want to look for other ones you could add new instructions here and say what position you're interested in so you could say actually I need a left back um, I want specific um, things on the left back or just any uh, how many contracts should be remaining what sort of age range and then if I select whoops if I hit back to come back out you can see that's now added to here so if you really want just a left back you could delete these other ones by choosing remove instruction which shows in the middle over there uh, on the bottom page so that's x for me that'd be square on the playstation so you can also manually search for players however uh, what you'll see here is if i search for player let's just say i want to see everyone i can see basic information uh, but you know not enough to make an informed decision on so what you could do here is say if i had a free um, scout I could say somebody scout him but I can't see that um, so these are really quite useless unless you know you know particularly about a player that you're going to get a good player you know these are really are a lucky dip um, so not really recommended to search that way but that's an option as well transfer hub this would show you any offers that you've got your shortlist of players that you've been scouting whether you've sent any offers received any offers or transfer listed not much we can do with that in this video just showing that there this is our scout for youth players. So Liam Johnson, we could advance here, set up a scout in network and tell him where we're interested in scouting. Um, so we'll say, uh, I just want him to look at England for three months. It'll tell me a cost uh, and then I advance that. And then he'll come back after that and give us some idea of little youth players that might be of interest. So I'll back out of there. Uh, and that's gonna give us some possibilities there as well. Um, Next, after transfers, uh, I think we've gone all through those, is office. So the office is where we can see things like our finances. If we drill into there, um, you can see that's the main expenditure we've seen at the minute. And right button shows my budget. Um, so you can see I've got 10 million, million budgets, so no big demand here. But of course, if I bought a 10 million pound player, then that budget's all gone. So you need to think about you know, your costs uh, as you progress here. Um, the calendar shows you uh, the team schedule and you can change stuff on that. You've got your career information here where you can see what you've done so far. So you can see I've not done much at all, <laughs> done nothing. I can browse available jobs, player stats, other leagues, that sort of stuff. Lastly, you've got the option to customize. So you've got edit manager where you can change the basics, just the look of your manager and your outfit. You can't go in and change your first and last name or country region. So if you wanna do that, you need to start a new career. You can customize the club though. You can still go back into adjust some of this stuff, mainly the stadium, the stands, the pitch and the atmosphere. You can't adjust your kits uh, once the season has started. Uh, you can edit your player's basic um, appearance though, like we see here. Um, so I could just go into some of these and adjust whether their kit's tucked in, what boots, etc. More importantly, you've got the options for half length difficulty and more if you mess those up or you wanna adjust them part way through the game and the option to save game. Okay, so let's go back to training day here. I'll put my camera back on because we waffled a lot there with that, all that sort of stuff. So training day, um, as if we look at the schedule, uh, so I'll just, yeah, 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 go away. This shows how things are set up. So we have training followed by rest day, training day, rest day, training. So we've got lots of training going on because there's no games going on at the minute. Um, and the so what this basically means is these are ways to improve the team as we go forwards. So uh, training can improve the sharpness of your players. It will de sort of drop the fitness as they train though, um, and it may or may not improve their morale um, as we go. So I'll just show you this. And really important is the at least the first training day, do not simulate them. Uh, because if you do, they will all get D. Um, so what you wanna be doing is playing the drills uh, and doing the training. So I'll just show you a drill just to see. If you played other modes of FIFA 23, you'll be well aware of this. Um, but as we do the drill, it says don't let the opponent score. So I'll tackle him and then I'll get a point. And the drills will vary. You can also set your own. Oh no, damn, so I scored there. Um, you can also set your own drills um, if you're interested in progressing a particular thing. Uh, you know, like if you wanna make your players better at shooting or whatever, or better at defending, as you can see, I could do with better defending. <laughs> um, and sometimes you may be rubbish at a drill. Um, so the good thing about this is you get multiple sort of goes at it if you need them. You can have it up to three goes. So if you're not too good on a particular drill, 
um, you will have another another option to continue with that but you can see I'm doing a little bit better now um, that play that play uh, oh good save so there we go and no I was rubbish there but I'm going to get an alright rating here, even though I didn't catch him there. Let's see if we can catch up on this one. Oh, it switched my player there for no good reason. I don't know why. Anyway, um, you can see C. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to, rather than do them all, show you what I mean by if we just went straight to here, C results. Uh, if I simulate the other two, they're going to get D, uh, I would think. Yeah, there you go. So what happens there, I get a small sharpness increase, fitness goes down by 10, but where I actually did the first drill, even though I only got a C, that was better than the D, so they all got six increased sharpness as opposed to two for the other ones. Also thing to bear in mind is depending on what you're training, uh, it will adjust the players in there. So if we're doing defense, it's gonna be looking at our defenders rather than you know the extreme hot potato, which is a more a thing for strikers uh, on the right-hand side. So we'll advance that. And then what I will do here is I will load a different thing so you can see the difference between the play in a game as well because obviously this gets quite boring. One thing I forgot though, just before I do that, look above my head, the inbox and the chat box you can access by pressing the right stick. Uh, and you can see all sorts of information here. It'll tell you what's going on. Um, you'll get um, little welcomes from the chief and stuff like that. A bit of information from the scouts, um, you know, and things what you can do here. Um, and also if you right button over to player chat, you'll see a bit of information from uh, your players and you can reply to them by pressing A uh, and then we can say what we want to do here. So we'll say the future's exciting, blah, blah, blah. And depending on how you respond may improve relations with that player or not as far as I'm aware. So what I'll do now is just load um, a different one. So if we just come out of here. Um, so she just by mistake there, I noticed the, we've got an option for tutorials, menu button, this gives you a bit of information on the various different areas. So if you need some more help on something, for example, set up a scout and network, this tells you all about that. Um, very short example, but it at least gives you some help. So I'll just load the other one for you. So we'll just go uh, quick without saving. And I will go and load a safe career where we I've just spent a little bit of time um, progressing. So I've uh, done, done the wrong thing, hang on load of safe career so this is the career that i was messing around with a little bit more um, and so the main thing we need to talk about is actual games and stuff so i'm actually progressed a little bit into the uh sort of season here i've done a few sales and stuff so we'll just look at a couple of bits here just to explain so the standings so you can see my team are very excitingly called team fc um, you can see we've got the uh, top of the league at the minute, 21 points. So I'm finding this relatively easy. We've won seven, we've drawn none, lost none. So you could say I'm ready to up the difficulty level here, which I could do in those uh, customized areas. So I could go to settings and then change the uh, difficulty level up to professional and see how I get on there if I want, but I'm still learning stuff. So I'll just leave it as it is here. Um, so if we go back to the central thing here, um, and have a little look what we've got. We've got a match coming up. Um, so that's our next thing. So as we advance, it will fast forward to the match, which is our next uh, thing here. So there we go. So you have an option to attend a pref con uh, press conference before a game. And I suggest you do this because this can help morale with your team. So we'll do this and I'll just show you this. So I just press A to do that. We'll skip the waffle at the start. And then you skip through that by pressing A, uh, sorry, holding down A or whatever button it shows bottom left. Um, so it says, can you keep winning? Um, so you can just choose a response here. So we'll go, we're really in really good form. And you can see top left that improve the team morale. So, you know, depending, it just go with whatever seems common sense. So you don't want to be too cocky or too rude because um, that will drop morale. So we'll skip this one and go to the next one. A big, big game hall win. Our best will be anybody. This isn't the time for predictions. I think we're ready to win this. I'm going to go with that one because it's not too cocky, is it? So, again, helped morale. So, well worth doing. Um, so, we'll go for the last one. Uh, skip this one. Will it be physical against AFC Wimbledon? We'll handle it. We'll, let's keep our heads or we're confident against anyone. Okay, let's keep our heads. 
Now you see that one dropped morale slightly, so they weren't so happy with that. But my morale sort of still good um, for the team. So you know you're not going to get them all right, but it gives you an idea. So we then come to the point about playing a match, which is the other key part about manager career. Um, and if we have a little look at this, uh, this will give you an idea of how you can uh, progress things. You can either play the match and actually take control of the team yourself. You can sim the match or quick sim. Quick sim will basically go right towards the end. Uh, you can opt to just play the highlights, team management, customize this sort of stuff. So I'm going to show you sim match first uh, because the cool thing is if you can see how your players are performing and then you can jump into the game if you need to. So this gives us uh, this sort of style. So my team's on the left are the reds uh, and you'll see this information here. I can change the game plan if I want by using right and left on the D-pad. So this would change between balanced attacking. I can pause with the menu button. I can then at this option manage the team or jump in or jump to result. So we're going to jump in in just a second. So we'll just see, let this progress a little bit so you get the idea. So let's say I want to jump in. Down the bottom left, it says X to jump in. And really clever is it takes me in exactly that point. And now I'm in control of the team. So generally, I say in manager career, you want to be doing this. Not only is it more fun, uh, but you're going to get a better result generally than what the computer will do for you. You'll probably get hammered now. Um, so we'll just try and get that ball. Oh, that was close. So this is why I say you want the three minute um, sort of progression on because you know, you're know you gonna be playing loads and loads of games, but you can set it longer if you want. So let's see if we can do something with our team here. So hopefully we'll do a little through ball there. Oh, there we go, got a little goal. That was perfect, wasn't it? This was taken on the first take as well. So we got our goal there. Uh, the team are now doing well and you know, it's up to you whether you want to continue the game or not. What I'm going to do just for speed is I will now pause and say, right, I want to jump to the result. Now, this may not go my way, um, but it is a way of sort of speeding through the games if you want. So see what happens. Jump to the result. Good. We scored another goal. So it said in this case, because probably because my team is a little stronger than AFC Wimbledon, um, it sort of simulated that I would win the game. So that works well. Now you've also got the option to do a post-match interview down the bottom. It says why for post-match interview, which is exactly the same as the other one. Just gives you another option to raise morale. So I've hit why for that. Uh, we will then go into the post-match interview here. I'll hold down uh, A to skip. So we get that, an option to increase that morale again. How long will this run go on? We won't stop doing I like to take that. I'm going to go with all credits to the players. Check the morale. goes up. So the more you do this, the easier it gets because you'll remember the answers. That was an answer that I had before. Was it a straightforward win? Uh, we could go with this, this. So I'm going to go, there are no easy games. So team likes that. Uh, and we'll skip the last one here. Good win. Were you pleased? Uh, whatever we want to go with. Um, so we'll go with that. So you get the idea. So again, we've raised our morale there, so worth doing, and it only takes a moment to do. And that's it really. So you'll advance here, you'll have the recovery days. Of course, we could go into far more depth in a lot of these things. Uh, we've also got a new chat that's appeared top right there. So I'll press the button there, and that's probably one of my players that is grumpy. So um, it gave me a chance, blah, blah, blah. So this player's hoping that he can get back into the team, so I'll reply. So we can get this here. I'll say, I'll be nice and say, I've always believed in you. So we'll say that. Um, so hopefully that'll help that player keep going. So hopefully that was useful too, to show you how to play manager career in FIFA 23. I know it was a long tutorial, this one, but hopefully it's explained a lot of the areas. Hopefully it's useful to you. If it is, big fat thumbs up, please. Much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. If there's anything that I didn't explain very well or you need more help with it, hit me up with a comment. I'll try and help with that in the future. Um, if you like what you see here, I'll put some more tutorials at the end of this video so you can see more help on FIFA 23. Uh, I cover all aspects of the game. So whether you want to play ultimate team or play a career or manager career or anything else in the game, hopefully you'll find something that helps. I'm always creating new content as well. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe. You'll be kept up to date with my latest and greatest. Thanks so much.